Okay guys, yeah, the Honda HRU216, this is the M2 version, the Australian edition. There's no videos in Australia about how to do this, but what we're going to do here today is attempt to change this little lever here, uh, just the cable. Now what it does, it goes up, it goes backwards and forwards like that that engages the uh, self-propelling system on the gearbox. First thing is, we have to remove this. Up underneath there is a bolt. You can see the hole. Taking the bolt out already. First one. Now underneath, we've got that bolt. That bolt, that bolt, then this guy, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Before we come off. Alright, now we've got this all ready to go. that thing. So underneath there you push forward and it comes out. That's that thing. Now we've got the gearbox all exposed. Now that's the thing we've got to take off. It lifts up like that. that one. That's the thing that the gearbox actually sits in, slides into, keeps it in position. Now we can get access to that part of the gearbox, the top part here. So that part there, that's what we're going to take off. Clean it all up. There's four screws, four bolts. through that bracket as well which actually holds the axle on. Do the same at the bottom one. Now just doing the bottom one as well. I've managed to use a vice grip just to clamp that spring together. Now all we've got to do is just pull this one out. As you can see, it's just like all those bicycle clip things, it goes up, and we should be right. Right, got it off. Now, unfortunately, with this one, you see there, and there, snapped off. Let's hope that we should be all right. I'm not too sure. Right, got the new cable in place, ready to go. All we have to do is just put it in there. And then the tricky bit is crunching this up into there. You guys are gonna hate me, but I've done it. So basically you just have to pull this up to get into that notch. Now, hopefully, I don't know how that's going to go, but you know, it's got this spring underneath it holding it in the place, so let's wait and see. Guys, now to put this control arm back on, the height adjuster, for the back wheel, 
this is in position there this bracket with the wheel you can saw part of the assembly inside there with the gears and the axle and this when you start to put it back on is lying up here so it's really hard to push it back because you've got this spring and that's the last thing you don't want to take off trying to get that back on would be murder so the trick is take off the front wheel take off the circ clip in there take it off and it's all free and then you can push it right back put it into place put the spaces on you're right there and then the front one it's very easy the front wheel the whole assembly just moves up into position hook it back in put the circ clip on put the wheel back on so just a little tip there guys so let's hope that it's all okay at this stage now i've just got to put on those brackets on the back See if it works. First gear. No problem. Second gear. This. Good work for. Third gear. Here we go. Just a cable, it's not the gearbox. Done, guys. Hopefully. It helps you guys out any tips let me know put comments in the bottom um, there were quite a, few other, a couple of other things that uh, i didn't mention in the video but um, that's basically all it was it's just a cable that stretched over stretched from time to time a lot of us what we do we just um, adjust here with these two screws just to extend it a little bit further um, as you can see now it's 10 times better than what it was Alright guys, thank you.